Welcome Gary, keep it simple. Today got a very quick one for you. Saw a video the other day, thought I'll answer that question. So here we go. Very simple. Started off, there's a speaker there, a tweeter, and you've got a main woofer there, and then you've got a, an amplifier which is feeding it, and you think, well, hang on, why has it got that silly little capacitor there? Because the thing about capacitors is there's no direct connection. And then you look at it here, and you think, hang on, yeah, there is definitely no direct connection between there and there, so it's a, actually a break in the wire. Well, that's technically what it is, but then you look at it and think, if you connect that one there, you get a pulse. So, hang on, let's see if we can follow that again. So, if you put a positive on, you get a positive pulse, and if you put negative on, you get a negative pulse. Okay, right, so put it in DC and get a pulse out, but put in AC and something will come out of the other end. It's the high frequencies. Ah, so the, the capacitor is used to filter out the frequencies. Magical. And it looks like this. So when you put it together, you, you've got, there we go, it, oh, oh, yeah, oh look, speaker with, let's see if we can get that a bit better, there we go. There you've got the woofer, and you've got the tweeter, and you've just got the capacitor feeding it. So that makes perfect sense, you've got the low frequency going to the woofer, high frequency going to the tweeter. Yay, simple, magic. If you got something out of this video, maybe you'd like to bop the subscribe, or bop the share, or just bop the like. Just bop something and we'll go from there. Anyway, if you can find anything else that's of any interest up here, there's some good videos. Please like, subscribe, share. Catch you later. Bye bye.